27 here. Thank you. Welcome to the latest vlog on my channel. Hope you're keeping well and you're enjoying the latest update just in the game. As we all know, Team Go Rocket leaders are now taking over Poker Stops in Pokemon Go, collecting those fragments from Go Team Go Rocket Grunt. The six of them will give you that radar, the Rocket Radar, and you can encounter Cliff, Sierra, and Arlo, and then have an attempt at trying to battle and win some really cool Shadow Pokemon. Some of them, oh, well, actually all of them have got an opportunity to be shiny. But in today's edition, we're going to do talkthroughs on Cliff and Sierra. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk through some of my learnings, what we did to beat them, some tips as we go through it. And I'm going to ping these on the screen as we talk through it. And we're going to show you how I failed and how I succeeded with a minor little tweak. And actually some very interesting strategy with how to use those shields and actually when to make those charge moves. There is some logic to this. Some of them are really, really close. Do not get frustrated, persevere. I'm gonna hopefully help you here. So we're gonna ping up on the screen now, Cliff. Here's Cliff, look at him there. His little Pokeball in his paws there. So I went straight in with Machamps. Uh, so the first one is Meowth. Meowth will always be his first one, and hopefully you will see this. Uh, close combat as a charge move on Machamp here. So as you can see, Meowth is going down very quickly. In fact, Machamp, has done in there. Half the energy nearly gone though. So the second one, Cliff can bring out either Snorlax, Flygon or Sand Slash. Bring Snorlax out. We've got a straight charge move there. He will block the first two. Snorlax, the match on fighting is a really great counter for it. There was Sand Slash for a Mammoth Swine Ice type in there. Flygon, Dragon uh, and Psychic and Fairy types are really good. So you can see Snorlax has killed the first match champ. I went in with a team of match champs as well, two match champs and you two, as you can see. I threw the second match champ straight in there because actually fighting type is strongest against Snorlax. Trying to build that charge move up there. So you can see they've still got one shield. I've got an attack incoming. What do I do? I use my first shield. I have a go, you see, because my work, my thought process, if I can get a real supercharged attack on it, it will give me a fighting chance of taking Snorlax out. But you can see very quickly, they're going to block a second one. Two. I'll use it on the first two. Remember that. Close combat goes in there. Would have been red. Would have finished Snorlax off more than lightly. As you can see here now, well, that champ is, is going down really, really quickly. However, fighting is the best type against Snorlax, just remember that. So this is where we've got a learning here. So Mewtwo came in. Uh, I put Mewtwo with Ice type in there. It made sense because actually if we did get to the third Pokemon, and you'll see very quickly Snorlax holds out against Mewtwo here. It could be Tyranitar, Infernape or Torterra. Uh, Tyranitar fighting type like Machomp, really strong there. Also water type Kyogre uh, and Kingler with Crab Hammer. Snorlax is finishing Mewtwo off here. Uh, Infernape, Grodon, Kyogre, Mewtwo with Psychic moves. And Torterra, Mewtwo with Ice Beam. Do I put it in the start? Could have been there. Uh, Rejoice and Chandelier. Pinsir are not bad there. So anyway, we've got another charge within there. You can see it goes quite quickly with Mewtwo with, uh, with its Ice type move. It does very little damage again to Snorlax. Snorlax holds out. And as you can see here, who dies first? Well, faints first. It's us. And we've gone there. So. We got beaten quite harshly there. Cliff, I hope you're proud of me, boss. Yeah, we are, Cliff. Well done, well done. But we persevere. So this is where we made a subtle little tweak here. And hopefully, we now know what he's going to fight in this battle. It's Meowth, it's Snorlax, but we don't know what the third one's going to be. So watch this very closely, because at this time, I did not know, I did not know what the third one was going to be. So we, we go again, and we go again well. So it was a good effort, okay, you know, we're gonna have a rematch. Obviously, we're not letting Cliff get away with this one. What do I do here? So just bear in mind, this is a really good, strong opportunity. So fighting type is key here. Fighting type is definitely key. We know fighting type against Meowth and Snorlax are the strongest ones. We know that pretty well here. But it's all about getting the right combination to give us that best chance, because the problem we lost there, we've lost the second one very quickly and we weren't getting those charge moves in and actually as the shields were being put up they were just bouncing against us and there was very little we could have done in that situation. However, this is what we're going to do. So I went Machamp on my first one again, Machamp on my second one and this is where we made a very, very slight tweak. Put Kyogre in on my third one. Now they say Kyogre is a good one to put in before you start it. Machamp, Kyogre and Mamoswine. We know... Well, we don't know for definite we need the ice type, but we went with Kyogre. See how this one plays out now. So Cliff throws back out Meowth, first one there. We know it's Meowth, like I said, it can only be Meowth on the first one. Uh, a matchup now. Now watch what I do here with the charge moves. So as you can see, Meowth's going down very quickly. I hold off there. It's flashing out. I could have deployed it at the last second. I didn't. I held on to it. There's a reason there. Straight in there now. 
Snorlax hasn't had a strike yet. We've got the first charge move in there. It will get blocked. It's dynamic punch. It will hurt Snorlax. So we're going now. Match up number one. It's still got half its energy left. We're building up quickly. As you can see there, we've got a chance to get a second charge move in really quickly before it faints. And that's the key one there. It's going to use both its shields up with our first Pokemon still in the game. It's not going to do anything when it comes back out because it will block it again. But the most important thing there, a little bit of damage, powerful. We throw the second match amp in now. Second match up, fighting type, strong against Snorlax. And as you can see already, there's no shields left now. We've got, we've got a charge move in here, and this is going to hurt Snorlax really quickly. We've done very little here, we just timed it differently. Shield up for me. Obviously, Snorlax is going to put a move in there on Machamp. Outrage. Probably wouldn't have done loads of damage, but still, I didn't take the chance there. I didn't take the risk. Well, we've got our charge move straight in there, and this is where the difference is now. As we can see, this is going to be super effective against Snorlax. It's really low now. We've still got our second Machamp in there. Snorlax is a battle to the death, but we're not going to deploy that charge move. Well, we are, actually. I should have held on to it, and that was a learning on this one, but just bear with me on this one. It's really hard when I'm talking through what I've already done. It's super effective, Snorlax is gone. Now, there's a learning there, but hey, watch how this plays out. So, Tyranitar comes in great. Tyranitar is weak against Water, Kyogre. This was really good for us, actually. So, Kyogre's come in. Tyranitar's also not very strong against Fighting type. And as you can see here, watch how it plays out. Tyranitar, it's close. It's very close. It's that charge move. Now, we've got a shield. Tyranitar hasn't. Attack incoming, block it. Look how much energy we've got left. We've got a hope that our charge move will get played straight after this. Time to crunch, blocked, save the shield, hide your pump straight in there. We had to get a quick tap in on there. And now it's deploying hydro pump. And watch what happens now. This is so close, but it's worth a super effective charge move there. And we knew that was going to be super effective. And that was Cliff gone. But you can see I had very minuscule energy left on that. Us Team Go Rocket Leaders will get you next time, says Cliff. <laughs> well, that's how you beat Cliff. Anyway, we did with two match amps, uh, with, with close combat dynamic punch, and we threw in uh, Kyogre at the end there. But you see, it can mix. It's a mix. The first one will determine the second and the third Pokemon, and that's the variance on it. The first one will always stay the same. So that was pretty cool. So that was Cliff, and we didn't get um, the shiny Shadow Meowth, which is a shame at the end. But that was the one there. And we had great fun doing that one. So we're going to swing on to Sierra now. Sierra is very tricky. Sierra is a very tricky character indeed. Uh, we're going to throw Sierra up on the screen as well. Now, as you can see there, I went straight to the Machamps. Again, I like Machamps in these raid battles. Uh, Sneasel will always be the first one that, that Sierra will throw out for you. Sneasel, Machamp, Raparados, Tyranitar, and Blast are kind of really good fighting type ones there. As you can see here, we've got a dynamic punch charged up. There's an attack incoming on the first one, but we put the shield up anyway, because I'm going to show you how we failed, as well as how we passed it as well. So, since you used foul play, it wouldn't have been effective, it was a waste of a shield there. You'll see how that works. I shouldn't have used my charge move either there. Timing was really bad on this one. But Dynamic Punch is blocked, it would have killed, it would have just been critical on Sneasel. Sneasel's gone. So, the second one could be Hypno Lapras or Sablai. Sablai comes in there, Guard of Rotokis. A really good ones. Gramble's not a bad third option as well there. We put a charge move in on this one. And as you'll see what happens now, it's blocked. But it does very little damage. The blue shield is almost just telling it this isn't going to end well. So, the first bad chump goes. I've got a token kiss in this one as well. But you can see what the thinking was there. I should have put it in against Sable. I didn't. However, do not be fooled. I'll change this a little bit. So, we've got the shot. This is coming in. I decided not to block it. Because my thought process here is, do you know what? My damage isn't going to do a lot. Is there any help? Is it going to work if I persevere my energy any further? I knew at this point this was well beaten. I was long gone on this one. I've got an excellent charge in there. It's not very effective. Sablo is going to take Machamp out, potentially. We're clinging on to the death here. So the third one here could be Alakazam, Houndoom, Guard of Ra. And it was Guard of Ra. Guard of Ra is perfect with Mewtwo Shadow Ball. That's the one you really want in this situation. Anyway, I've got a great dynamic punch in there. It's not very effective. And Guard of Rart here is just going to rip through Machamp. Machamp did all right, to be fair. It, it went, though. And then Togekiss was the worst choice I could have put in here. Um, yeah, it, it didn't do anything, really. But we'll see here. Guard of Rart's charge moves on it. it, it you know, they're not... They're just absolutely rip through fairy type. 
uh, and that was a learning again on that one. Uh, so we failed it there, and it, it was actually, it wasn't a lot in it in the end, but when you're looking at battles against these Team Go Rocket leaders, that's a big difference half a bar still. So, what did I do different as I kept my breath back? And what did I do to tweak this very slightly? As we had the good effort come up on the screen. It's, it's a bit patronising. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. So we did a subtle change. So I recharge these anyway because we're going to use some of these uh, when we do this again. So we know what the third one is now, uh, which is always useful now. Uh, and that's always the benefit. So I tried something very cheeky on this one. I went double Matt Champ, but I put Mewtwo in. And uh, we, we, we know why. Mewtwo's very strong. Uh, we, we saw it there. We saw it guard of roll with Mewtwo uh, and Shadow Ball. Um, that was the tweaker on this one. Got your Mewtwo Shadow Ball. It's guard of roll. Throw that in on your third one. So we go again. And there's a few timing changes yet again. I'm proving timing as well as Pokemon make all the difference here. So Matt Champ goes in straight away. As you can see, Sneeze will always be the first one. However, my charge move, Dynamic Punch, is there. Again! Why did I do it then? I don't know why I did it then, but we did it anyway. Uh, we got it in and Sneasel goes very, very blockish on us. And that was a waste there. I shouldn't have done that. Again, we, we look at the outcome on this one. So Sneasel's gone, Sablay comes in here. Uh, and, and again, this is the problem now. God of October Kiss were really good ones here. Fighting isn't very good um, in, in terms of surviving against uh, dark type uh, Pokemon. So it was blocked again, but now two shields have gone. We've still got our two shields, which is critical here. So we throw in, we throw in our second match champ, because we need to keep hold of Mewtwo with Shadow Ball. Uh, attacks incoming here from Sable. What do we do? What do we do? Don't use a shield. Why use a shield? Foul play comes in, it's really hard on on that champ, but we've got Dynamic Punch here. So I throw Dynamic Punch in there. So we've saved a shield now for the final round. And that again in itself made the difference on this one. So Dynamic Punch comes in. It says it's not very effective, but it did quite a lot of damage. And actually we took it out as Matt Champ. Second one has got no energy left. So we're now two shields. They've got none. Guard of Ra's the final one. We actually get <laughs> a Dynamic Punch. I don't know how we got that one in. It was clinging on at the end and we got that one in there. And you'll see here, that is very, very critical, that little bit at the beginning. So, we're gone. It's hanging on here. I don't know how it hung on for so long, Matt Champ, but it did us proud, that second one, with zero energy, pretty much going in. And here we go, we've got Mewtwo. And actually, I stand corrected, it should have been Mewtwo with Shadow Ball, but I'm going to show you how Mewtwo with Ice Beam can also be as effective here. So, excuse my bit there, was it should have been Shadow Ball, it was actually Ice Beam, and I remember that now. Ice Beam comes in, takes quite a lot off it. Now, this makes it closer than it should have been, but we get there in the end. An ice beam comes in. The second charge move finishes off uh, Gardevoir. And this was a really, really satisfying one with Sierra. So when you beat Sierra, you get an encounter with another Shadow Pokemon, which can be shiny. Um, and, and this is Sneasel, the, the starting one. And uh, you know, the pink Shadow shiny Sneasel would be really, really cool. Well, did we get it? Did we get it? Let's find out. Drum roll. <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. I'm still beyond on these uh, Team Rocket Raids, as you can see. However, with now silver status, which is cool, as we throw in there, it was a normal sneeze. I'm sorry to keep you all hanging there. And that's a bit of a raid guide, and I hope you enjoyed that. That's Sierra, and that is Cliff sorted out there. Um, and those are my learnings from it. Bit fast paced, but pick it up what you want, and hopefully that will serve you good. Well, I'm going to leave you beyond Massful 27. Hope you enjoyed this. Please put a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little raid guide vlog. First one I've done in a while. Smash the bell for notifications if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's really, really cool. We've got Community Day coming up this weekend. All really, really cool. And it's exciting stuff indeed. Well, I'll see you all soon on the flip side. It's all about Team Go Rocket Leaders and getting to Giovanni. Now that five day for stage two of the research is done for most people. Those Giovanni battles are now happening. And I'll cover that on one of my next vlogs when I get to that stage with you all. Enjoy it anyway. Be safe.